Hello, this is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph coming to you from Praise Christian Center World Outreach in Channel View, Texas. Wanting you to know another episode is about to be launched, I Care. Want to invite you in, welcome you in. Thank God for each and every one of you that tune in with us. And we pray that the word is encouraging you, that the word is strengthening you. Every time that you listen to us this morning, every other morning, uh, we just want you to be blessed and know that God himself, he cares for you. That's why he says in his word to cast all your care upon him. Why? Because he cares for you. And that is the purpose and that's the reasoning behind I care. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. And so I just want to begin this week talking about a very special word. And when I say special word, you'll find this word uh, constantly throughout the Bible where uh, this word is spoken to people. It's constantly written. Uh, so it's something that we need to take heed to. And that is fear not. Hallelujah. Fear not. Have no fear. Be not afraid. Hallelujah. Only be strong and courageous and so forth. So that, that, that says something to me that it stands out in the kingdom of God is that we are not to fear. We are not to be afraid of anything. As a matter of fact, again, I've said this to you before and I'll say it again, that the only thing that God says to fear, the word says to fear, is God himself. Now, fear not what man can do to you because he has no way to give you any permanence of anything. Only fear God. Hallelujah. And when we fear God, there's, there's several ways when you talk about fearing God, uh, several things. One is a, is truly a, a, um, a not so much scared, but so much scared too, <laughs> you know, because we don't want to be put in a position where we disrespect God and then uh, and, and think it's, it's, it's nothing because it is something when you disrespect God. It is something when you have no fear of God. As a matter of fact, the Bible uh, clearly shows us it's foolish uh, not to have fear of God. And so when we ha don't have fear of God, it's a, it's a high disrespect to God. And I think that the church needs to get back to fearing God the way that the church needs to because I think too many things are being done in the lives of believers uh, because we have no fear of God or the fear is not proper. And uh, I'll say it like that uh, because it's it's it's. It's many times it's just too loose with God. I'll say it like that. Uh, we're talking about the creator of the heavens and we're talking about the creator of the earth. We're talking about the almighty God. And I, I believe he deserves the fear uh, from his creation. And I believe that that fear is not, again, it's not just a scared fear, but a high respect for God. Hallelujah. Uh, a, a, a respect for God is to the highest where there's, there's nothing else you fear more than God. Because, again, God tells us to fear not. And the only thing he tells us to do again is to fear him. All right. So when we fear God, then we'll, we'll be in line in such a way that we're aligned ourselves in such a way that we won't fear anything else. When you truly come to know God and fear God, then the circumstances of life, the challenges of life, uh, you know, whatever you're afraid of, it goes away because you have the confidence in the living God. Now, listen to this. Whatever you fear and I've said this before, and I'm going to say it this week as well. Uh, whatever you fear controls you. Amen. It puts limitations upon your life. It causes you not to do things that you should do, and it causes you to be afraid sometimes, watch this, to go forward when God has opened doors for you. God has opened up ways for you to go, and fear will keep you out of those doors. I care.